Today I'm participating in an open collaboration called Alice in Wonderland Tablescape. Our host is Gigi from Gigi's Creation and the co-hostess is Grandma Sandy. So go over and check out their page. Hello my awesome friends, this is Debbie from Blossoming Mirror Creativity and today I wanted to share with you my Alice in Wonderland uh, tea tablescape. Isn't it cute? Look at my teapots pouring out some foamy tea <laughs> and this one here. So let's get a little bit closer and we can talk about them. This one I found on a Facebook Marketplace and comes with a sugar and creamer. Super cute. Just have some little pearls hanging out as if it was pouring into the cup. And in this cup is a Mackenzie Child's napkin that I um, rolled up. Um, I was trying to make like a little rose out of it, but uh, I'm not super proud of it. But you know, it's my first time, so you can't be perfect all the time. <laughs> and then over here on uh, the back, I have some books, and I have this cute Toberry tree, and this is a McKinsey Child. Looks like it's showing black in the picture, but it's really blue. Let me see. Hold on. Okay, I turned the flash on to see if you can see it better. Now it's showing up blue. So that's called the Royal Check. And it comes with a little butterfly. It's a kid's child, isn't that cute? So I'm collecting the royal check and my mom is collecting the courtly check, which is the black and white. So going over, we have our faux um, Mackenzie Child's little pot here. We got this at Tuesday morning. It's got some little pretty flowers in there. And then this is the tray. That is my mom's and um, it's never left my home, so I just continue to use it. Maybe it will become mine. <laughs> and then these cute little teapots here in the front. These are actually salt and pepper shakers. And these are also Mackenzie Child's. They are so pretty. And they actually would go with the, oh shoot, I forgot what it's called but it's the flower um, print of Mackenzie Childs. They have, you know, everything, the plates, the napkins, blah, blah, blah. I just can't remember the name of it at the moment, but um, so we have other um, pieces that would go perfect with this, and you know, we'll be showing that in the near future. Here's just a couple of little meringues I made with leftover spackle from when I was making, um, who knows what. Uh, and then we have a faux Mackenzie Child's little pot in the back. So this is like a little egg. And it's got some cute little purple flowers. And then here's the creamer and sugar that goes to that teapot that I showed a little while ago. And this flower can I got at the thrift store, I believe. I want to say it was like $3.99. And it's really cute. Let me move this so you can see. A little iris and then my mom um, put this little tree. sorry background noise um, my mom had put this little arrangement together and it's perfect with my backdrop it, it almost looks like it blends in really well so I was super happy about that so let me put this back and then coming over, I have my little Alice.
Alice in Wonderland plate in the back. And I actually have a couple of them. Um, some of them came broken and I tried to fix them. This is one that came not broken. Um, so I'm just not sure if I want to use the other ones. I Even though I fixed it, I still can see um, the seam, but I'll try to see if I can um, incorporate the other plates in another video. And then here's another faux Mackenzie Child's um, egg base with some tulips. And then here is another teapot flowing down with pearls. And this is also Mackenzie Child's courtly check. And I love this one because it's got the pretty glass finial on top. So pretty. And I got these candle holders from Home, Home Sense. And um, I thought they were really pretty. Not Home Sense. What did I get these? No, I got them from Ross. Sorry. I got them from Ross. And it didn't have the set of three. So I thought, how can I use them? And I thought, this is a perfect way to, to use them um, on either side of the table. And then my, my little planters in the back, I've had those for a long time. All right, so going down to my table, I got these cute little plates from Hobby Lobby, and I thought that the colors and the flowers match perfectly with my backdrop. And what do you think of when you think of spring? I think of flowers and birds, of course, chirping, singing, just having a great time. So I just love these. And then um, the plate underneath, it's actually a, um, an Easter plate, but once you put the bird plate on top, you can't see um, what's underneath, but I like the scalloped edge here. And then I got this little placemat. I, this was really pretty too. And I got this at Hobby Lobby, it just seems so feminine. Now I didn't have any cloth napkins. I have, I have purchased them. But I don't know what happened, they've never came. So I ended up just using some of my paper napkins from Mackenzie Childs. So it still works, it looks pretty good. And then here is uh, the napkin ring, a Mackenzie Childs napkin ring, super cute. I love this one. We have two different bow styles, but this one is my favorite. So you'll be seeing the other bow um, napkin ring in future videos. And then I'm going to quickly come to this side. It's exactly the same. And now I want to go to my little cookies I made. And these are my cookies for Alice in Wonderland. And I made a couple more, but I'm not going to show them because I'm going to have a video, a DIY video, and I want you guys to come back and, and check it out. So I'm just showing you a few of the ones that I made. So we have um, two teapots, of course, because it's our tea table. So I made a yellow one and a purple one. And the purple one has the diamond dust, so it's very, very sparkly. And then this one just has um, the glitter on it. And then I made the Mad Hatter. Now because he was a boy, I don't wanna to put too much bling on him, so I just put it on his tie and on his little sign on his hat. 10 over 6. So there is my little cookies. So you'll have to come back. Um, I'll be posting the um, DIY um, later in the week and it'll have other um, Alice in Wonderland cookies that I'll be sharing with you. So I hope you like my tea tablescape. Alice in Wonderland tablescape and it is tea time. I am loving this. <laughs> well, hope, hope you come back later in the week to see my DIY and I will be posting some more Alice in Wonderland videos coming soon. Bye-bye.